get everything ready. I've got a nailing screw in my tire there. I've already taken it out once and put it back in again. Right, thanks to Mr. Fall Off a Lot, who I trust implicitly despite his name, uh, I'm going to plug this hole. And I'm going to use these, one of these, to do it in exactly the same way that Mr. Fall Off a Lot did. I did get some of these as well because as is my usual I uh, go over the top bloody everything but tyre pressure has gone right down and I have heard that you need to have a bit of pressure in there first of all so Trusty foot pump. It has been sat there for a couple of days now since I took out and then replaced them. Um, and from Get Geared, I got the screwing things. Now, the screwing things would be a lot easier, but I see them very much as. Very, very quick fix when I'm on the road, so I'm not going to use them as soon as I've got the time. The one thing that I don't have is any um, glue, organising glue. But I might fix that just by nicking some old bicycle puncture repair kit. I think I'll go and get now. Here we are. Some vulcanising rubber solution. I'm pretty sure it's nowhere near as good as uh, the proper stuff I would buy from uh, Rima or whoever. Right, I'm going to set stuff up first. Now this kit doesn't come with the solution. I'm just going to quickly have a look at these instructions. Insert the rasp tool into the hole and slide up and down to rough it and clean the inside of the hole. Insert into the iron coat with rubber cement. Yes, which is what I don't have. I've ordered some. I mean this is... Why didn't it come as part of the bloody kit? Hmm. Right, this puts me in a bit of a quandary because I've not been able to find any of the bloody stuff anywhere except on the internet. Um, which means I'm not going to get it till Friday. Hmm. Or the second Thursday. It's Tuesday now. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Do I put in one of these keys? Or do I, do I use this? Vulcanizing rubber solution from Well Tight. I'm going to go for this. Right. First of all, I'm going to get one of these out. Because they're clearly not bothered by air because they're not in an airtight container. Maybe I've got to flatten them a bit to get it in through this hole. Trying to get this in isn't the easiest. In fact, this is pretty crap. 
I've seen others where these just slide in pretty damn easy. Come on you bugger. Get through there. I do have problems putting threads into needles but I wasn't expecting this to be a problem in this way. Now to remove this. bloody nervous about this to tell you the truth the whole thing it's a bit like going on a date to the cinema or asking a girl out for a date some solution on this careful as this fall off a lot or some others have said gotta be very careful that you don't push this all the way through given the problems I had in just getting the thread through or threading it through uh, am I gonna fuck everything up I don't know doesn't work, it's 100 quid for a new tyre. Right. Let's see about cleaning it and testing it. Right, I'm back with some water. Doesn't seem to be any bubbles or anything. Nope. That's all. Well, I don't know. That might have worked. I'm hoping it has. I'm still bloody nervous. I need to cut that off. 
with something. I'll do that later. Right, we're there. Apologies if uh, there's been a lot missing from the actual video. I'll probably leave that for a, a while. Cut that bit off, possibly tomorrow when I get the chance to go out. And let's see. Anyway, shout out to Mr. Fall Off A Lot and to Dan Doolittle on motorvlog.com uh, and on YouTube. Thanks very much for your help and giving me the confidence to do this. I'm still bloody shaking, but hey, uh, we'll see if it's worked. I'm sure I'll get better with practice, but I don't want too much practice. 08 signing out.